And did I mention that this is not a recipe if you are watching your waistline? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to make one of my favorite recipes. It's white chicken enchiladas. I haven't made them in a long time but they're really really good they um have a nice white cheese sauce instead of like the red sauce i'm just not a fan of the red enchilada sauce but a nice white cheese sauce that you make that's flavored with green chilies it's really really good um, i haven't tried it with beef i want to because i think it would be really good as well but i have some chicken that i need to use up and then also um, freeze the rest of so i'm going to make them with the original recipe white chicken enchiladas and i originally got this recipe off the internet a long time ago and then i transferred it to a recipe card but i will look and see if i can find the recipe and i will link it below if not i will type it out below but i am going to just go ahead and cook my chicken in the instant pot you can do your chicken any way that you want to i'm obsessed with my instant pot so i am going i used it last night you can see it, i just took it um out of the sink strainer but um, I'm, I like to use my Instant Pot because I don't have to worry about the oven being on or the stove being on or whatever and I can go do other things and it cooks it really quick too. So um, I'm gonna cook two chicken breasts. The recipe calls for two and a half cups of shredded chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook two chicken breasts and um, it's only gonna take about no more than 10 minutes uh, pressure cooking in the instant pot of course it'll take a little bit more time to come up to pressure and then also um to release the pressure because with meat i like to give it at least a good 10 minutes of natural pressure release before i flip the valve and do the do the instant because it really dries out the meat if you don't let it come down off of press pressure um, a little bit naturally so let's make some dinner or supper what do you say dinner or supper my grandma who is 89 and my grandpa who is 90 says that lunch is dinner and lunch is dinner and supper is supper like at nighttime is supper um so let's fix some supper <laughs> seal is like in the right spot because when I first started using the instant pot um, this is an issue that I had like I couldn't get it to come up to pressure and well it was because the the ring was off so I always want to make sure make sure your valve is on sealing and I'm going to pressure cook for 10 minutes that's gonna come up to pressure and pressure cook for 10 minutes and then I'll let it naturally release for 10 minutes or so and um, then I'll shred it up. But I just got off of work so I've got that going. Now I can like step away and do everything else that I need to do. I think I'm going to, I need to refill the hummingbird feeders. Um, I also need to clean out the fish tank and I don't remember what else I need to make a list but all right so the chicken is done um, just has about 10 more minutes to do go through the natural pressure release so next step is grating up two and a half cups of Monterey Jack cheese I thought about getting out the food processor with the shredding attachment but then like, uh, I'll just do it by hand all right, so I'm gonna start shredding my Monterey Jack cheese. And the recipe calls for two and a half cups of grated cheese. And I am going to just shred up quite a bit here. I think I shred up about half of the package. Now, you don't necessarily have to use Monterey Jack cheese. You could use Colby Jack or um, another 
type of cheese, whatever cheese you have if you don't want to go to the store. But I think the Monterey Jack is definitely the way to go, or at least a cheese that has the Jack cheese mixed in with it. It'll be a completely different flavor if you use, you know, a, a yellow cheese instead of a white cheese. The next step is to go ahead and peel and chop up one large onion um, or dice it up, excuse me. I used a large yellow onion here in this case. So I'm going to get that chopped up and ready to go in the pan. So you can see that my Instant Pot says L012, so that means it has been naturally releasing pressure for 12 minutes. So I'm going to gently flip this from ceiling to venting, and it's already the pressure is already released, so it's good. I'll just open it up. Be careful from the steam because it is hot. I'm going to just put my chicken breast in um, plastic Tupperware to shred it up. So I'll do one at a time here. All right, so I'm just going to shred up each chicken breast one at a time with two forks just in a Tupperware container. Now, if you had some leftover rotisserie chicken, this would be a really great use for that. I added some olive oil to the pan and then that onion that I had chopped up, the yellow onion. And I'm going to saute the onion um, in the oil for just about one minute. And then I'm going to add our two and a half cups of shredded chicken and then half of the green chilies. So the recipe calls for three four ounce cans of green chilies. I had two 7 ounce cans on hand so I just added one of the 7 ounce cans. And then once you get your green chilies and chicken added to your pan with your onions you can go ahead and um, add half a cup of chicken broth and half a cup of heavy cream which I did not have any heavy cream on hand so I just used skim milk and I feel like this was just a little bit too much liquid but it turned out okay. So the next thing is to get out another pan and we're going to make a roux. So you can see I added two tablespoons of butter into a large pan and let that melt and then I also added two tablespoons of flour to the butter mix that up and let it cook for just a little bit to get the taste of the flour out. I'm going to cook the taste of the flour out for just a little bit. And at that point, that is when I added the rest of the chicken broth, which is about one and a half cups, and stirred it into the flour and butter combo and got all of the lumps out and let it cook and bubble up and thicken for about two minutes. At this point, you want to also add the rest of your green chilies and combine that together as well. And then reduce your heat and you're going to stir in some sour cream. Once you have your sour cream combined into your green chili mixture there, then you're going to add in all of that yummy shredded cheese, reserving about mm, one cup of it or so to add into your enchiladas in the center. So you want to take some flour tortillas and take your chicken and chili and onion mixture there. Put a portion on the tortilla shell and then add a little bit of shredded cheese and roll it up. I do suggest going ahead and giving the pan a 
light spray of nonstick cooking spray to avoid any sticking. You can see I almost forgot to do that. Also a little tip with rolling up your enchiladas. You can add your mixture, add the cheese, and then fold up one side and sort of pull it backwards. Kind of hard to describe, but if you put your mixture down, you also want to make sure you drain it off a little bit. But put your mixture down, add your cheese, fold it over, and then pull back one side towards you to make a tight roll. So I used a 9.5 by 11 baking pan to put my enchiladas in. You can use anything that you can find as long as it has sides so none of the enchiladas and or the cheese bubble over. I'm just showing you that I use the 10 count medium sized tortilla shells and they fit perfectly in this casserole dish. Then you can cover it all with your ooey gooey cheese mixture and you are ready to go. All right, so it's ready to go into the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes and it's going to get all nice and bubbly and combined. Um, and that cheese is gonna, it's just gonna become magic. And did I mention that this is not a recipe if you are watching your waistline? So. This is a comfort food recipe. Into the oven, 30 minutes for 350, and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Starving. Got it out of the oven and out of the pan. You can see how delicious it looks with that yummy white cheese and green chili sauce on top of the chicken and green chili filled tortilla shell. So these are just excellent. Again, white chicken enchiladas. My One of my favorite sort of casserole dishes. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like these types of videos, please hit the like button. And also love it if you left me a comment below. Thank you so much for stopping by to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.